This is Cars and Bids. <laughs> yeah. I threw the leg in it. Yeah. Nice job. Who is who me? Who yeah, is Drive? Stand up the here. dumbest yeah, automotive channel me. on YouTube. And this is a really uh, interesting car. Hoovy has rented a Ferrari, and today we're going to take it car spotting. Let's go. Okay, so Hoovy is here visiting, and we had 30 minutes to spare, so we figured we'd go around and look at cars. Yeah, you just wanted to ride in the California because it's <laughs> so sweet. That's what I wanted. Oh, this whatever. is Sean in the Pottery. back. And he's, he's going to be running the camera, and uh, we'll see how it goes. He's so devoted, he's amputated his legs to fit. <laughs> so where do I go? I don't know, just drive around. Go to the right. Go right. Okay. Just keep moving, let's see what we see. All oh, there's right. a Hoovy special, Hummer. Yes. <laughs> Dodge Nitro, there's a real Hoovy special. Oh, man, they got a little butterfly on the gas cap. Why would they do that? Because <laughs> they're the type of person who has a Dodge Nitro. <laughs> but I love the Hummer H2s. I just love the GMT 800 platform, and... Uh, that one's very clean. You yeah, are that fortunate. One, that one is clean. You get mm. rust. You get a lot of rust in Kansas. Not as much, but they get. They, they work their way down to be sold yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. All right. And those, like those are all gone. In those Kansas. trucks. Yeah. Especially on Z wheels. Or mm -hmm. whatever that was. Those those second gen forerunners are everywhere here. Right. And probably not where you are. That's like the California thing. The only thing that happens here to cars is the paint. You know, because of the sun. Like the LS four hundred there. Which... LS four thirty. But... Oh yeah, right. I'm about to beat the highest mileage car sold on cars and bids with mine. Uh, Except that we're rate. running yours as true mileage unknown. Did you oh, know that? Oh, really? So it's not yeah, going to win. It doesn't count? It doesn't count. Okay. Why is it TMU? Because at 99999, whatever, it, it quits. And I had I reset the trip at the time, so you should have not done TMU, but I understand Chrysler why. Chrysler never thought they would get to a million miles. Then again, no. that's reasonable. Look Just, at that. Yeah, they bought it truck out. Thing. Yeah. How many people in Kansas driving those, huh? Not many. No, that's... That's All a cool done. thing. Yeah. Oh, look at that Very 240S much. extra rotting there. Dude, if they had Let's just simply put that car in the garage, mm -hmm. some kid would be offering them. They'd have notes every single day. Right. Some kid would be offering them 35 Flowers grand growing up on it. I don't want to make this Honda, man. I feel like cobalts are gone in Kansas. I mean, they got to be gone here, They're right? They're mostly gone here because in the coast, people didn't really buy cobalts in the first place. Mm -hmm. HHR? Oh, yeah. They are just so cheap to own and run. So I could to see own. someone just Hain car, running them practical, forever. cheap. Mm -hmm. Like, why not? First right. Gen Escape, there's a car that's still everywhere. I bought a lot of those when I was a car dealer, and they they were good. They're good. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. reliable. They're exactly the size everybody wants. Nice 123. On one ease, that's an 84 plate pry. Yeah. And they're all rust-free out here. They're, they're all, all so clean. nice. Yep. The V70 with some roof racks on it. V70 with the uh, light, low-pressure turbo. Yeah. South Bay Swedish Car Clinic. Four Zs. I mean, that car's probably an original. Then look. Do you, okay, here's one. First, original XC90. Do you remember that car came out? Uh, yes. That car was so beautiful, and mm -hmm. it still, I think, still looks good 20 years later. Absolutely. And they aren't horrendous to own. They're as free as... to buy at this point. Yeah. Early ones are literally free. Yeah, because an X5, it'd be a nightmare. And that one, well, an ML would be easier. The first generation yes. ML would be easier to Absolutely. own. Absolutely. But that's somewhere in between still. And it was, that car was just more reasonable. desirable. Yes. I, those When that XC90 came out, I remember I was a kid, I thought it was so cool. And even today, I'll see an 03 sometimes, that's a later one. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, yeah, it's still cool. TJ. Interesting cover on it. I've never seen someone try and preserve their interior. <laughs> not a TJ, who cares? Right? Yeah. It's but definitely not a theft thing. It's not even a sport, I don't think, because the steel wheels on it. Yeah, that was a base, base, base. base. I don't, before it was called the X. Yeah, yep. well, the yep. older ones are. Right. Exactly they didn't right. even give it a name. Four cylinder manual. Yeah. Oh, V8. Mm. And rear wheel drive V8. Yeah. Sport package. Sport. Yeah. Yes. If you like a 211, it's still up on the air. It's not on the ground. A there's rendezvous? A, there's a deep Kansas thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about rendezvous the other day, how the Aztec was a flop, but this sold well enough that I bet the mm -hmm. whole thing was profitable. It saved it. You know, at some point they threw the 3.6 in there, not just the 3.4. Hmm. So I had, like, there, was, there was a rendezvous with like 260 horsepower. Yeah. Well, there's something in. that's gone in Kansas too, I believe. Yeah. The square body vans do not exist. Look at that bad Chevy van yep. with, that, with that cute little font. So it's the 20, the three-quarter ton. I dig it. You ever see the uh, Ionic 5? No. Do you see any electric cars at all? Not too Canada? many. No, Kansas Teslas? doesn't do we'll it. Teslas? We see Teslas. Yeah, we see some Teslas, but there's, I think, only two superchargers in the city. And this is a large city in Kansas. It's yeah. 700,000 people. And the rest of them, the Mach-E's and the Ionic 5 and all that? Mm -mm. You, know, you never see them. Polestar? No. Yeah. 
There's one another car that doesn't exist in Kansas anymore. That uh uh-uh. that Civic, Civic Hatch. Hatch. Can't believe that car hasn't been stolen. I wonder how many times it has been stolen. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I mean, maybe nowadays the kids have forgotten how easy they are to steal. I because think now, so. Now they just oh, we can hack it, and they want to do the Kia thing <laughs> right. or the, the the Mopar stuff where it's so easy the with Kia the antenna. The Kia thing is the modern day equivalent of when we were kids. Mm-hmm. You can start an accord with a spoon. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was like no big deal. Mm-hmm. But now the, there's no parts desire for those cars anymore. Like no one's turning them into you know street racing cars anymore so that's all done right go left oh okay. unless you want to see that square that old ram yeah. look at that those you don't even see in california no because that's when dodge was losing and nobody was buying them yep look at that wow. and look at that hood ornament a lot of them were government vehicles originally sold because that's they were so they were the cheapest ones you could buy and they but they're so terrible that no person would actually buy them for themselves forest service green yeah when you come to California, does it excite you to see all of the old stuff? Oh, sure. Lines? Yes. I always forget about all that. And then I go to like Detroit for a car thing and I'm like, every car is a mm-hmm. three-year-old GMC Terrain. Without exception. It what is, is not the nicest this. car that comes to Wichita Cars and Coffee? You bring it. No. Oh, no. There's, left here. there's people with Ford GTs. There's people. Uh, you got everything. an SLR. And, I mean, <laughs> there's much nicer Countach's than mine. Really? There's, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. A friend of mine in Kansas, in Winfield, has the, like, the 76 Monaco Grand Prix pace car that he bought for under 100 a long time ago. Wow, no yeah. way. Low roof. Yeah. You, know, you know this car? Here's a Mercedes you don't see a lot of. Electric drive. That's a Emma? B class. E class? No, a B class. B up. So how did that get here? They sold the B class as compliance car. When the California started mandating that everybody had to sell an electric car here, they made oh. an electric B class just for California and sold it here. No idea. Look at the first generation CTS there. That one looks nice. Yeah. My grandmother bought one new off the showroom floor. I went with her to buy that. I, I had it eventually before. ended up working at that dealership. Trash uh, interior in that car. <laughs> yeah. Well, because the, the dashboard had that texture where you go zzz, 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 with the, with the, it was so weird. How about oh, that? Yeah. Original. That's still working. 90 to 94 Maxima, the four door sports car. You remember that? Remember that terrible gen Ford Focus? Oh, that's pre-CVT, isn't it? Yeah, but that was there was like a two, three-year, model-year stopgap Ford Focus. You mm-hmm. know what car is just running and running and running as a Sequoia? Everybody Absolutely. talks about the Land Cruiser. Those first-gen Sequoias, not a single one is off the road. Right. Yeah, they're auctioned all the time with 300,000 miles. Yeah. 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 The, the Sequoia is like the, safe, the like underground Land Cruiser. It mm-hmm. doesn't have the capabilities, but if you just want a car that'll go, the excursion of today is the mm-hmm. 04 Sequoia. That truck, you probably never see those, those yeah. old Toyota trucks. Though. Every landscaper worth his salt is driving <laughs> one of those two-wheel drive, or they convert it into one of those dolphin motorhomes. Right, and that would still sell for five grand out here probably, <laughs> yep. right? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Dude, There's no, that truck's got years left in it. Mm-hmm. Hit me up when you got a SN95 like that one. It's a GT, or at least it has the badge. <laughs> Look at the wire holding up the exhaust there. That is proper hoopty. You know, that that's one thing in California. We have smog. We don't have vehicle inspection. So there's no safety inspection at all. Here's an Elkie. Yes. Look at those old plates, mm-hmm. man. Yeah, when I did my first season of the Motor Trend show, the showrunner wanted me to buy an El Camino because he did a show before that where people were overcoming their irrational fears, and one guy had an irrational fear of an El Camino, and this was real. And so the whole thing was like to get him to lay down in the bed, and he is losing his mind, screaming, terrified. It's funny. Uh, it's a, Irrational fear, that's a fear you don't really need to get past. How often do you see one? <laughs> right? <laughs> just, just live. You're fine. You're good. Right? And you notice these Siennas are now only being driven by really sketchy people. <laughs> they have I fallen haven't. into this. No. Because ske- I think they're reliable and big. Right. And so you can do a lot of transporting sketchy illicit equipment <laughs> and stuff. Everyone I see is like rough. What do you think of that Jeep Renegade? Not a fan. No. Not a fan. But the, the Siennas, I, that was what I would pick to drive back from auction in Houston when I was a car dealer and I try to get north of Dallas and then sleep in it and then make it back to Kansas. Exactly. I buy 12 cars and pick what I thought was the strongest one to get home and yeah the Sienna so I did live out of Sienna's for a minute there. The secret's out about there. Here's another one. These haven't made their way into the uh, sketchy part of town yet but they will. The mm-hmm. next owner. Either that right. or Nigeria. You ever go on Street View in West Africa? No. You should go on Google Street View in West Africa. It's every car from our youth. Wow. All American vehicles have been exported there. And Ooh. like it's Siennas and Sequoias and Forerunners and everything like that. Original yeah. CRVs. Well, that's how I was able to get my 100 Series Land Cruiser so cheap because 
it was only three thousand dollars because there's a big rust hole in the hatch which was somebody drilling a hole oh, yeah, to a access the hatch but the thing wasn't rusty but all the foreign buyers saw that and th thought oh, it was rusty and, and didn't want it wanna... wasn't yeah but whoa c4s c4s still so cool looking right so your buddy was one of the first auctions with CRS yep. with cars and bids. Have they gone up with the turbos? No. Some? No. They went up and then they came back down. Because what happened is 991s kind of were flat. And now 991s have pushed way down, which has mm -hmm. pushed down 997s, which has pushed down 996s. Yeah. It's still so cool, though. That is a nice 80. Yes. Way under-wheeled and under-tired. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> what are those from? Uh, Tacoma? Well, wait. Tacoma. It's full-time all drive. And look, that's got to hurt the thing to do different size tires Maybe like that. Maybe he's just put them on for a minute to do... Uh, some sort of wheel swap. Right. Oh, look at this Tercel oh, wagon. Oh, there we go. Is when was the last time you saw one of these? Mm, been a long time with the four-wheel drive badge, yep. too. That's a winner there. Four-spoke wheels with four lugs. When I was a kid in Denver, those were super hot cars. Oh, because I bet. of four-wheel drive. And yeah. It was before the Outback. That was like the Outback. I never really thought about that. Yeah, this is your life. You do this, get to do this every day. Yeah. It is nice. Just drive around and look at cars. That's all I do. Yeah, I mean, or, it is cool that cars here are only... It's like a matter of willpower. Mm -hmm. You can get the car to go forever. You know, it's more like, when will you stop maintaining it? Oh, wow, what is this That's place? A, is that a real is Shelby that, there? What is that red car? It's a Cadillac with no, an no, no, aftermarket no. grill. What oh, you mean this? the one that, like a Lotta? Like an Eastern European thing? It looks like a Lotta. Mm -hmm. They got a Land Cruiser. A little slight scrape there. I don't know if we can get out, but... What? It's it, a BMW, isn't it? Can't be. No, it's an it's some sort of lot of it's some bad. variety. Yeah. What a bizarre thing. This is a mechanic shop. It's outdoors in a parking lot. Absolutely. Just, that is not a thing in Kansas no. at all. No. No. I was astonished when I saw it here. Even like real dealerships have outdoor bays. You approach them like this. Look at these, man. E24, yeah. E46 Touring, all in various states of crazy disrepair. Yeah. Uh, the problem with opening the a Beamer CL. Benz shop is yeah. you got to deal with the work. It only ends up being the cars that were problematic, the E60s. Mm -hmm. It's a no-win scenario. Yeah. That's something the car wizard has learned to turn down a lot of work. And those shops will turn them away, and then people will send their cars cross-country and not announce it to the car wizard because they think, from my videos, that they can just like show up and walk in and drop off their car <laughs> and get it fixed immediately. And they, either they've driven, limped it there, or shipped it there, and it's like, what do I what? do with this like, thing? What does I'm he do? Does he work it. on it? No, he'll he'll turn it down most most of even the time. if it's been shipped there. Yeah. Uh, the guy who I sold my yellow Defender to has a Lotus Esprit at the Car Wizard right now. Yes. Uh, there's a V8 one. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He could live there. No. <laughs> no. Think of all the I cars like, he could see. I like not seeing neighbors. Who yeah. Imagine 70 degrees all the time. Imagine me and you go out together. <laughs> You take your SLR, mm -hmm. I take the Carrera GT. Yeah. We live 05, our glory days. Right. Front wheel drive A4, there's a car you don't see in Kansas. Go right. Listen to this. Oh yeah. Oh. That's not incredibly annoying or anything. There's a 3100 Century right there. It'll last the rest of their lives, which probably isn't long. <laughs> so that was car spotting with Hoobie. Hoobie, any impressions or thoughts? I'm always just wildly impressed. Just, we didn't even try. We didn't even go to like your normal honey holes like Coronado or something like that. It's just, they're just everywhere. Cool cars everywhere in Southern California. It's why I have to like hoard them myself to be able to experience that. <laughs> and that's why I have all that junk at home. And yeah. that's why you should move here. No, 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 the traffic. Who will be moving to prices, California? No. Mm -mm. That's what will make this, that's what will title this video. There you go. Clickbait. Clickbait. Bye everyone.